Man is with you. It's uh, September 14th on a Tuesday and I'm getting ready to go metal detecting. But Google Maps brought me into the wrong location, darn it. Hey y'all, J-Man is back with you from Metal Sharks and I'm here at 20th Avenue North in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. So I'm real close to Neptune Beach. And I'm hoping I can hook up with Rob of Y Gold's Metal Detecting and a friend of his. So I need to go a little bit south of this position because that's where I think I was supposed to meet them. But I've had some map issues this morning. <laughs> but hopefully I'll get it all straightened out and I'll be able to detect with them soon. And it's mild weather right now. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning on September 14th. J-Man out. Okay. Better late than never. Finally heading up the boardwalk and hopefully I can find my golds. like it could be Weigel's over there waving at me with this detector. So let me mosey that way. Hey y'all. Weigel's metal detecting found this earring earlier and I'm just testing it to see what it would ring up on my machine. It's 1112. There's what Weigel found. And let me bring him on if he's okay with it. So welcome, welcome. We have white gold's metal detecting. All right. Well, this is a nice find this morning. Yep. 20 minutes being here, man. Yeah. That's J Man with Metal Sharks. Check out his channel. Yeah, I really appreciate that. And uh, Metal Sharks subscribers, be sure to check out Y Gold's metal detecting. He's on the west coast, but sometimes he's on the, this coast too. So I'm really excited to get out and hunt with him and a friend of his. So let's get after it. Just getting started, a little bit to my north I see a fisherman, two poles out, and uh, Weigold, Weigold's is right to my left there as you can see, and he's detected about 20 minutes already, so I'm going to go a little bit past him, and uh, see what I can find. Hey y'all, so... Uh, it's low tide right about now, and I'm working the wet pretty close to Y Gold. Getting a signal. I can find it again. 1720. It might just be a bottle cap, but I gotta dig it. It could be an earring or something irregularly shaped. 17, about six inches deep. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I'm on the board, but it's only a bottle cap. But actually, a bottle cap can be a good find because it tells you where the targets are landing in the surf. And you can test to make sure your machine's working. <laughs> hey guys, I've been working my jumpy signal. And look what I got in the scoop. Not my target, but a nice, big, fat, juicy sand flea. So I guess I better turn that little guy loose. That's what he looks like. So he can go back and get furrowed back in the sand. And I'll keep looking. I just thought this would be interesting to look at for a second. It looks like some kind of a barnacle on a, some kind of nut from a tree, or seed. So, saw that in the surf, and it's gonna toss it back. So, about an hour into detecting this morning on a Tuesday, finally got a signal that's really consistent, so I'm pumped up. It's a 12 all day long, and it's only six inches, so this might be something good. Let's get after that and show you. So I got one scoop out, and now it's ringing up as a 11, so that's interesting. Maybe 
this time I'll get it. I think I have it. Let's rinse out the scoop. Yes! I got something, folks. First earring. Yes, it's a golden colored. So let's take a closer look at that. All right. Maybe things are going to pick up now. So it's a dangly earring. Let's bring it up more out of the cirque here. Okay, so there you have it, a hoop style earring. Kind of a thin material, but I like the coloration on it. I don't think I see any rust. So that makes me wonder if it could be any real gold and content to it. So I'll have to look at it a lot more closely and see if there's any markings and let you know when I find out in the wrap up. Definitely a cute dog up there with his orange ball. And another dog getting in the act. Very cute. Hey y'all, J-Man back with you and it's been a slow morning so far, just the one gold colored hoop earring. And now I'm in front of this land shark bar and a hotel area. So I'm going to try up here, Margaritaville area. And it's really close, just a little bit north of the pier. So let's give this area a whirl. Weigold just found an iPhone that's all cracked up, but it's like it's seen better days, but at least you got it out of the environment. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. I've never found an iPhone or smartphone. I've just found a flip phone once. Yeah, it's my third iPhone. Second one that's damaged. Yeah. I got one that, that I was able to return to the owner. Yeah. Huh. I'm always finding Androids. Hey guys, sometimes when detecting's a little slow, you can still keep your eyes peeled and find neat things like sea glass, which I think this is. So let's see if that really is. Yep, piece of sea glass. So I'm almost glad to get that. And uh, right here, it's an interesting piece of driftwood, but I don't really have room in my pouch. I see some barnacle live critters on there, reaching their claws out. Pretty cool. And then one last thing I want to show you. See that right where my coil is? It's a couple of reeds in a natural cross position. So that's interesting. Rob of Weigold has something. Let's see if we can show you. Wow, look in there, he's got a nice earring. In uh, look, Silver. Yeah. That's interesting. Don't see any markings, but it could be silver and it looks silver. So hopefully we'll find out and let you know. Okay, I'm getting a jumpy signal and I want to show you. It's about two hours after low tide, so the tide's starting to come back in. Kind of 11, 13, about six inches. I don't think I have it yet. I think I have it now. Let's see what this is. Looks like it might be part of the 
fishing lure. Let's see if that's what it is. Get up out of the surf for a minute. Something silvery. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. It's part of a fishing lure. <laughs> Thinking about calling the hunt for the day. And about mid beach. Getting a tanning signal. So I gotta dig it. I think I have it. It's like a shiny penny. You need a memorial. So we could take it. First coin of the day, believe it or not. Greetings all, J-Man is back with you from Metal Sharks, and this is a wrap-up from my time with Rob of Weigold's Metal Detecting at the Jacksonville Beach Pier area, or actually just north of the pier. So this was my best find. It's a hoop earring, gold colored, but as you can see, probably from some of the rust on it, it's not gold, actual gold. Then this was a uh, blade from a fishing lure. I think it has a little bit of writing up there. I believe it says Briggs. And then next I found a piece of sea glass, as you can see, which is always cool. Something I'll do. Someday I'll do something with all the sea glass I found at the beach. Then just two pennies. This one is a memorial. And then a screw, a wire piece from a champagne bottle, a bit of rope, a lighter that doesn't work anymore, some pop tops, two Corona light or extra beer caps, and then various trash that I'm happy to get up off the beach. So for me, it was a pretty slow morning, but it still was fun to be out there and to get out there detecting with Weigold's metal detecting and his friend, get a lot of fresh air and exercise. So there you have it. Thank you.